welcome to the channel, it's Adam with 72. So today we're doing something a little bit different, we're actually taking the SLK to the track. So I'm entered in, um, it's called Oktoberfest down in Palm Beach International Raceway, so like two and a half, three hours away from me. We're in the 12.5 class. I've never done anything like this, there's supposed to be pretty good prize money. Hopefully a lot of vehicles will show up. So we're going to be heading down there and see what happens. Alright guys, so we made it out of the track. I shot a, a whole intro and everything, but the audio... This video is going to be a little bit weird because the audio was just sucking down there. There was, um, I guess with my um, camera, it kind of auto adjusts, so you had all these cars making noise. So the intro got messed up, a lot of it got messed up, but I'm going to try it. We're just going to go through and talk it through. So we're entered in the 12.5 bracket class. So if you don't know what that really is, is you're not allowed to go faster than 12.5. You go anything lower, but if you go faster than 12.5, you get eliminated and you lose. So they're going to do a few tests and tunes, which we're going to show you. I'm just like getting data on the car, seeing how fast the car is, because I have no clue how fast this car is. And also, if you know, the issue I'm having right now is, so about three days ago, whenever I go to first gear, and if I spin it all, the car goes to limp mode and kills me right there, and then I have to reset the car. So we're going to go out there and attempt to put it in second gear the whole time, no launching, no nothing, and rolling into it, and see how the car goes. I have no clue. That's one of the issues we have. Um, we didn't really bring any ice, we didn't bring a tent, so I'm going to have to have all my equipment in the car, which I'll show you in one of the videos. But we're going to go out there and have fun. Um, so far at this point when we got there, I think there was like maybe 12 cars entered in the 12.5 class. There is a, um, what was it, a few Volkswagens, a few Audi TTs, uh, a lot of like, you know, those like Audi and Volkswagen turbo guys. There's, um, there's a, a BMW Z3 3, with an N54 motor in there. Would sound pretty good. Or I mean a Z4. There was a Mercedes uh, CLA 45 there with a tune and a couple other things. So you gotta remember he's all-wheel drive, two-liter turbo, and those make like they make really good power. There's a few other cars, a couple brand new Jettas and stuff like that. Not I'm it's just me and one of the Mercedes in the 12.5 class right now. A lot of Volkswagens and if one or two BMWs, but we're gonna start going to some of the clips. Five and six. 12-2. Okay, so at this point in the video, I'm finding out that SLK is, this is second gear pool. This is no ice really in the tank. I've been putting like one handful. The outside temperature is 89 roughly if I remember. A little bit 8 and then it goes up to 94, fluctuates throughout the day. And these are back to back to back pulls and the car just keeps getting faster. We're doing like 12-6, 12-4, 12-2. So at this point I knew I got to slow the car down. So I'm kind of figuring out how to do that. Guys, so we did about like 15 runs. I've been doing hot lap runs. I am definitely competitive for the 12.5 class. I've been running faster. So what I've been doing is I'm letting out at 100, 103 and rolling through it. So right now we're just gonna throw some more ice in here and then head out there for qualifying. Right now in the class, there's a, like two people running 12.5s and 12.6s, so it should be pretty good. All right guys, so the next clip, I'm not gonna show you every effing race of every qualifying, but we're in qualifying right now. And I'm gonna show you a clip of the two top qualifiers they put them together, This is, or the two fast guys, they put them together in qualifying, 
and for whatever reason I just got, got lined up by myself. But you can see what they pulled in their first qualifying, and then you'll see what I pulled in my first qualifying. But the car was doing pretty good. I remember hot laps. I'm going over, like circling around, like when I was doing tests and tunes for the cars. I got it almost dialed in perfectly. Albert Ross. Co-ones, Royal Palm Beach, BW Hatchback So right now I'm top qualifier at 97 miles an hour. So you can clearly see I'm kind of pulling out of it a little bit, but hey, that's a ticket. So right now we're top qualifier. There you go. Yep. So, and there's only a few cars in the class. I think four people dropped out already because they were doing 13s. So the class right now, everyone, the other guys are doing 12.7, so it's pretty close. So I just gotta hope I don't crack out because so far today, if you know I'm in second gear, rolling into it, I'm doing 12 twos, and that's when I just have to start letting out. But we're gonna next round of qualifying in like 15 minutes. I got the car running with the pumps right now to cool it down a little bit, but this is no ice, no nothing. Pretty good. Oh, guys, like you know, this is a daily driver class, so I'm even racing with all my stuff I brought. I got a, the 10 pound of ice, the, that, all my tools. It's how I'm racing it, so. Straight up daily driver for me, pretty nice. So we just did second round of qualifying. I'm 12-5-6. So I'm top qualifier by uh, a, a lot. So next is round of uh, eliminations. My air intake temp, so it's 89 degrees out. I'm still doing 99. I just got done with a pool like two minutes ago. So we're gonna drive over park. We got 40 minutes. I oh, know we got 30 minutes until eliminations. So we're gonna park, chill, and go watch the other races. But so far we're top qualifier in it. And I got the car pretty effing dialed. I'm doing 12-5-0-6, oh, 5 oh, like, I'm right there. So they're doing some crazy stuff. They're, gonna, they're now changing tires. They're gonna try anything to try to catch up to me. So we're gonna go chill a little bit and let the car cool down. All right, so we're doing the first round of qualifying. It's coming up soon. Since I'm the fast in the class, I got a five run. So all I have to do is not do a 12-5 down the track. So either I'm gonna go slow with it or just hit another 12-5-0. We'll see how it goes. All right, we'll hop in the car in a little bit. Number one qualifier, making a single run. 
Once again, Tim 50, need to report back to the lanes. The winners, 10 50, report back to the lanes. All right, guys, so at this point of the video, we're now in the finals. It's just me and the other guy. He got to this place. I mean, it's not a slow car, but he's been getting lucky really good. So if you saw one of his clips I put, he did like a 13-3. So the issue people are having, which it was a little bit, I had this issue too, a little bit, but we're doing a pro tree. So the pro tree goes is you bulb one, bulb two, and then once the other person bulb one, bulb two, it just like goes it's not like yellow 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 it's like yellow green so it's a kind of a fast paced thing so me being very how do i say this cocky and just like thinking i'm gonna just demolish this guy he comes up to me him and his whole crew like this is a let me describe this car this is a volkswagen 2000 i think it was 2008 um i think it was the 20 turbo it's got big turbo setup gutted on the inside like when i say gutted just driver's seat more gutted than my black CLK is. And if you guys know that car, you know how gutted that is. This Volkswagen, no AC, no nothing. Like, it weighs, I think he said, like, right above 2,500 pounds. He been going to this track the last, like, every single test and doing for a month. He's got his car, like, perfectly dialed on the reaction and everything. He is 100% more prepared. He came with a crew of guys, about five or six tents and all that stuff. And they're sitting there changing tires in between and doing everything. So at that point, I didn't fully know all this. So he came up to me and me just being like, uh, granted, I was just really effing cocky, way too cocky. He said, hey, can I go in before you? Because also, let me say something. Since I'm top qualifier, I get lane choice. I get to go in first. I got the buy run on the last one. Like you get a lot for being top qualifier. And I was just like, I was the stupidest thing. I gave most of it away. I was like, he's like, he wanted to roll in first. He even asked me to let him do two beams and then stage and let him do launch control. So he got full boost and everything. On a pro tree, you never do that. Like usually you go, it's such a quick pace. So you'll see in this video right here, of like I stayed back, let him do all of his stuff and let him fully get ready. And then I went up. It was, it made it for a super close race, if you can't tell from the video. But I'm going to go to it right now. So as you probably can tell from the video, I lost just barely on a technicality. So here's the runs. So we went off, and since I let him go first, he got out on me, and he did a point uh, four sixty or a point four reaction time. I did like a point seven, so that means he was two car lengths ahead of me. I ran him all the way down, and then I knew I was gonna brack out, so I had to let off and hit and and stop myself. So I ran a twelve five. He ran a twelve six. So I got. I got there first, but technically he crossed the beams first, so he won, and I, I had to let on and hit the brakes. So at the end of it, I lost the car didn't lose because I got too cocky, and I let him, I basically gave him two car lengths ahead of me, I was like, yeah, you go, I'll play catch up, I got you, and I just couldn't, and like, the in-car footage, if I, if I really wish I would have recorded the GoPro, was like a bumper, like literally, he, like I chased him all the way down, and I, I passed him. By like two or three cars, and then I had to slow down. And right when I slowed down and hit the brakes, he just creeped past me. It was like, kudos on him. He played it right. He knew what to say to me, and like I, he saw I was jazzed up, and he played it right. But next time, whenever I do any bracket racings, like me and my buddy Berto said, like, no, just don't be nice, don't anything. Like it, it's a pro tree, they got to go off of it. I was cocky. I was like, yeah, I got it. So then. Per this, when we made the negotiation, I said, if I lose, let's just rerun it. So now this is going to be another video of me 
not letting off, but I didn't do full, full on them, but I'll show you that clip right now. You haven't done first gear yet? This is gonna be a hard first gear hit to beat him. I'll show you. I'm either gonna spin or I don't know, do something. I'm just running. Huh? I'm running. Elevens or something. Oh, all right. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try fast fast. No breakdown. hope you liked the video so I mean the car did great I had a, a lot of fun at the event the event was fun um, there was autocross there was road racing we went around and saw all the stuff they had a few vendors there with some food and the SLK did phenomenal we were a little bit worried granted I had to do the whole thing in second gear I did one or two first gear runs but even if you see in the video I didn't even launch them I literally went Whoa. like I rolled in them because I was just so nervous because we got to drive the car three hours home this literally was our ride home, has AC, has everything. But for the people who said like, oh, you didn't do that many hits, you didn't do that, I'm going to show you my time slips. So a lot of the other cars here on the bench were doing one run every like 30, 40 minutes. If you could see, I literally doing like 12, 17, 12, 24, 12, 29, 35, 40, 44, bam, 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 bam. These are just from like my series of testing. I had more over there. Like I kind of categorized them of when I was doing qualifying and testing in the fastest. And you can see I just kept going and going. And this was at like, this is 89 degrees, 94 degrees. I put a handful of ice, maybe at the, when I was kind of qualifying and stuff like that, just to keep it at a, a steady 100, 105 ambient, um, or 100, 105 air intake temperatures. So that's why I, that's how I got the time so constant. I had multiple 12500, 12500000, 12500000, like multiple of them for that. And then I had some fun ones after I was doing 12 ones. But not bad. So now I got a little bit of a decision to do with the car. 
So I have a, a lot more of go fast parts that are sitting in the garage. Right now it's a 12.5 bracket beast of a car because I get it to do consistent 12.5007, 12.500, like easily I can get it to do it. I know how to do it. I got to get better on my reaction because I'm doing like 0.7 of my best reactions, which that is horrible. So I can get better on that or I make the decision to bump the car to be 11.5 class car. Easily I could actually do that because if I had first gear, if I had, if I dropped my air intake temp down to below ambient, like under a hundred, I would go extremely, but I was just doing a hot laps and everything. And I could definitely feel how the car was going. I can make the car right now, 11 second car. And then I just need to add a little bit more boost. Maybe like I can still do throttle body, like, and all this, like tons of stuff and drop more weight out of the car. I can easily get it to 11.5. So I gotta make that decision right now or turn it into something completely different, but I'm super happy with the car. I still daily drive, it still has AC, still has radio, still everything, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, throw a like down there, throw a comment, you know, anything like that. If you know of any other races that are come up, like soon I'm trying to look for a couple 12.5 ones before I start adding more power, because Black Friday's coming up and I might be hitting up VTech for either throttle bodies or some other stuff, but thanks guys for watching and see you later.